Hi, it's the Binding of Isaac. Day one, um, it's the 14th right now, and I'm recording the 15th. I think is right. Yeah, I'm recording the 15th. I got a little worried that I was going to miss a day today, but I didn't. Hey, we're on a four win streak. We're back. We're, we're racking up the wins. I thought we were going to break it last, uh, not last week, but yesterday. And we didn't. I somehow pulled through, just about, at the expense of any meaningful monologue for a good 20 minutes of the episode. We unlocked the D6 for Isaac, so I think that's going to be a good place to go next. Um, how are you today? I'm just going to go right for that, because I'll be honest, it's the next day, it's not the weekend yet. I still don't really have anything for you. Um, I've just been kind of like, you know, not going too crazy today. I've been very tired, as, as, is, as is common for me to talk about at the moment. I've just not been sleeping too great. The common cold? I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. It's pretty good. Uh, I've, yeah, I don't know what's going on with me. I've just, just not been sleeping, you know? I, I've been up late. I mean, last night, again, I was, I was playing League of Legends. Um, I don't, I'm very worried that I'm going to paint the picture that I'm a League of Legends player. I'm not. I've played it, I played it the last time I talked about it. I played maybe two or three games, and I played maybe two or three games last night. And that was it. That's all the League of Legends I've played. Please don't consider me a League of Legends player. I'm not an advocate for the game. I'm very much against it. Um, I just have been finding myself in the situation. Are you kidding me? Where I've been playing the game. You know, I've got like friends that want to play the game and I'm like, all right, sure. Like I'm not a complete spoil sport. I'll play a little bit of the video game. Um, the shop is, okay, that's something for the next floor, something to consider. Um, our shops are looking a little nicer now. I think maybe we have maxed out the level after all. Last run they were still looking pretty bare, I would say. Which is a shame. This is interesting. This is what, cha like, champion, uh, what are they, these guys called? Gemini? <laughs> champion Gemini? Um... Where, where, what was I saying? I wasn't really saying anything. I've just been tired. You know how it is. Business as usual. In fact, I kind of want to get you. Okay, well, I failed to get you. Um, I... I it's, it's, it's Friday evening. I've, I've been recording... The, I record in the morning on weekends when I get the chance. And then generally in the evening uh, during the week. I mean, I will take that for sure. Uh, generally during the evening um, during the week. So, I mean, it's Friday now, it's it's 7 p.m. I was going to be playing Dungeons & Dragons this evening um, on the uh, Alex Baum Twitch channel. That's A-E-L-X-B-O-M-B -B on Twitch uh, in the Initiative & Intrigue campaign. Uh, sadly, it's been cancelled this week because some of the players weren't around to play, which, you know, I'm upset about because it means no D&D. Um, but I am relieved about because it means that I don't have to be up from midnight till 4. When, you know, I think if there were ever a moment for me to do it, it's when I'm not sleeping. Like, sort of in a, in a you know, a segment of my life sense. More poison tears. We could just stack a ton of poison. This is kind of cool. I haven't had any need for the D6 so far. We'll see how that shapes out, though. If we get something really lame on this boss, maybe like a consolation prize would be kind of boring. Um, anyway, so there was no D&D. &D. And yeah, I, I, I'm pretty I'm pretty relieved and upset about it. I think largely considering that it's 7 p.m. I'm, I'm pretty awake and I am playing Isaac right now. This is like, you know, knowing that there's nothing else going on this evening is where I want to be, I think, right at this moment. I think I'm, I'm quite happy here now that we're in the moment and we're living it than, as a, than I would be if I were like, oh, it's, it's 7 p.m., and I have I have D and D in a few hours, which isn't isn't the case every week. It's not week on week. I feel like that, but it is how I feel tonight. Tonight I'm quite relieved to just you know sit around, play some Isaac, and take a nice evening in. Sometimes you got to treat yourself to an evening in. It's just got to happen. And this is that night. I'm 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 winding down. It's you know it's been so crazy. Hence all of the amazing stuff I've had to talk about. That I just need a little bit of me time. <laughs> so. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be going out this weekend, which I'm pretty excited about. It's gonna hopefully bring uh, get get the 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 juices flowing, so to speak, so that I maybe have a little a little something to work with uh, next week. 
We got a little something from that from that uh, evening walk I went on, which I would say, you know, considering I only left the house for like an hour during the whole week, it did a lot. It played a very substantial role uh, in, in getting me talking about stuff last episode. That is up until the run got a little too hectic for me to really think about anything else. But like, I would say that, you know, maybe if, if the run hadn't been quite so tense, I could have gone a little further with it, but... I was real. oh my god, the damage. I was really in, like, a, a difficult situation. I, I had no real breathing room with which to work on... Oh my god, you shouldn't have... <laughs> You're spoiling me, please, please. Uh, let's... Go... This way. Let's go up. Let's go to the double treasure room first. I'm crazy. Because I want to see if there's stuff in there. We might get some keys or some coins or something that we can use the two of diamonds on. Which would be really nice. Okay. I'll take you, you, you. Very nice. This was a very fruitful, um, very fruitful experience coming into this room. I'm very happy that I did it. Teleport to the shop. I will use my two of diamonds. Take you. Head into here. And we'll check the shop in here and then we'll go down a floor. That sounds pretty good to me. We have 30 coins available, and we're not saving them for anything. We could put them in the dono machine, but, like, right now, I think our shop is just doing fine. That's more options, but what is that more options for? Two boss items instead of one, and we have... Um... And we have the dice. So we could take you, take you, and be gone. And then maybe we'll have like a really cool pool of boss items to pick from when we get down to the next floor. We got a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of breathing room here. I'm pretty happy about this. Hello, I have a notification on my phone. It's just a, it's just an update on you know subscriptions and things. It's just like a general, not that kind of subscription. I know where your head's at. It's uh, YouTube subscriptions. Not subs not people subscribing to me. People I'm subscribed to. Um, I get very excited when I see a, new, a YouTube notification because now I'm at a you know I'm at a stage where it could be something that's for me rather than just like hey this guy uploaded a video, which you know I'm always happy to get updates. If you don't have uh, if you don't have <laughs> notifications turned on for this channel, then maybe you should get those no mobile push notifications so you know when the latest episode of Isaac is out, as if they aren't coming out at a standardized time every night. Which by the way, we're like two weeks into now. I'm pretty pleased with myself that I've been keeping to it. I'm not much of like a schedule guy. I'm not very good at keeping keeping a schedule. I generally just vibe it <laughs> in any given situation. Someone's like, hey, when do you want to do this? I'm like, just tell me when you're ready to do it and I'll do it. It doesn't really matter to me. It, I just, it, I've never really operated that way. I've never had anything significant enough going on. I've lived a very like meaningless life, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. And as a result, I've never had to worry too much about when a thing is happening. Are you kidding me? That's not cool. It's kind of a, a BS maneuver on your part, Isaac. Oh. God, we do so much damage. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm loving this. Uh, anyway, I'm bad at keeping time. So, I mean, for example... Uh, I mean, Exhibit A, I, I recently got some new glasses. And this is not the first time that this has happened, but I, I needed some glasses and I had to make an appointment for them. And I kind of just opened up the calendar and I picked the first available day that it showed. And it was like a, a, a Monday. So I was like, oh, okay, it's the weekend. So that must be like this Monday. Excellent. So this Monday at like uh, two o'clock, I'll just go. And I'll go and I'll get some glasses. I'll have my eyes tested and it'll be great. So anyway, that Monday I head down, and they're like, hey, um, you, you don't have an appointment today. And I say, what? A 10% chance for the room? No, I don't really care about pills. Uh, <laughs> let's do this. Boink. And then we do this. Okay. If I get bad angel and boss items now, I'm going to be very upset. Well, we might have time to, to build up our dice charge again. Anyway, so I turn up to the, uh, the... I turn up to the optician, and they're like, you don't have an appointment today. I say, what do you mean? I have an appointment today. It's at 2 o'clock. And then I check, and it's it's the next Monday. And I'm, I'm, you know, 
I can't really get mad at anyone else. Not that I think I would anyway. But I can't really get mad at anybody else because, you know, I just, I made a mistake. And that's really the, the you know, beginning, middle, and end of it. I could have used the Hermit to get into the shop there. That's my bad. Um, yeah, that's really just my mistake, and, and I can't really be annoyed with anybody else about it. But I did, uh, instead of kind of facing, you know, instead of, instead of, you know, accepting that, oh, this is an XL floor. Oh, that's disappointing. Let's just go ahead and shove this over just a... Oh! Okay. Now we're going to shove it back this way. <laughs> oh! And then we're going to... Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I've been wasting my poison potential a little bit here, maybe. Some tears up or some luck up would be really nice here, actually. Maybe tears up is the way to go. So we can keep stacking more poison on this guy. Or not this guy, but just guys. On the off chance that we run into someone who's maybe a little more um, constitutional than most. Uh, anyway, so I, I just say, hey, are there any appointments that I can have today? I'll take you for some more HP. I like, you know, having HP. Whoa! Okay, 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 everyone chill. This guy always puts me on edge a little bit. Because I, I get worried about losing out on, on potential angel and devil deals. Because he's just, he's quite, he's quite, um mischievous this one he'll just kind of jump on you out of nowhere and before you know it you've lost all your hp and any deals that were associated with it um so i said hey uh can i just have an appointment today and they said you can have an appointment today with like a trainee and i said yeah that's fine i'm not like they're just gonna say hey can you see this and i'm gonna say yes or no um yeah i know you're probably thinking like what are you doing take the hp it's more valuable but like i shoot a little bit faster now which I'm pretty happy about. That's gonna that's gonna add up in the long term. Maybe I should have rolled something there, but you know, what's what's done is done. Now I'm gonna go back and try and roll the treasure room item into something a little more fun. Uh, let's leave you for a second. I'm not gonna run the whole floor. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna run the whole floor. I'm gonna go and check the curse room now. I think. Oh yeah, I have placenta now, so I I, I heal a little bit every now and then. Let's see what's in here. Absolutely nothing. Fantastic. Uh, and then I had an appointment with the training optician and everything was fine. Because here's the thing. The, the whole point of the story was I'm bad at timekeeping. I didn't learn my lesson because realistically nothing bad happened. You know? And it's, it's not that often that I run into situations where something bad would happen as a result of poor timekeeping. Like, maybe... I mean, I'm not very happy with this either. We can go to the shop and spend our hard-earned money on another battery, on a, on a battery. There are no batteries here. Ooh, I guess I'll take it. I'm not happy about it, but it's better than nothing. I'm not going to run back and forth through the entire floor just to try and reroll into something that might even be worse. Like, I don't want another active item in case we roll back into that. Anyway, I think I've made my case. <laughs> Timekeeping is irrelevant in my life, so I just don't do it. But the whole point of this this line of monologue was... I don't really want to open you right now. That, uh... Oh my god, I feel like I'm shooting even faster. Excuse me? Was I shooting this fast a second ago? Wait, I had like a 100% angel room chance and I just whiffed it. We still have 45, which is, you know, nothing to scoff at, but... I would have liked 100. Let's try and find the, the boss room pretty quickly then. I guess it doesn't matter now that we've taken a hit in the floor. Please don't squander everything in a fucking heart and mask room. These rooms are actually the bane of my existence. Like, they just go exactly where you don't want them to, you know? Ow. I need the placenta to start kicking in, if that's at all possible. Jesus. Okay. From now on, I'm just going to go silent when I walk into... In fact... Oh, come on now! <laughs> you got to be kidding me. It's always around here that a, a phenomenal run turns into a slightly hairy one for us, it seems. But it's okay, because now we have a ton of money that we should be able to spend next floor. We didn't get a cool item there, which is a shame. But not the end of the world, obviously. Whoa, come on now! You can't be jumping around at me like that. Um, 
Where was I going with this? I've forgotten. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so we might die here, just as a heads up. Unless the placenta starts doing what it's supposed to do, we might just die here. Okay, so we're going to get hit by mom, and that's going to be how we die. Oof. <sighs> I'm not happy. I am not happy at all. I'm actually very unhappy, in case that's not evident in itself. The fact that I didn't get hit by mom, and then I walked into the, the hand anyway... Sure, sure, why not? Um, I'm, I'm angry. I'm angry that that happened. I'm angry that that's how we lose the streak. I'm angry that it was with... A run that good as... Are you kidding me? I'm apparently just not on form tonight. Uh, as... on well, that first run is D6 Isaac. I'm just... I'm, I'm not pleased. Proptosis is gonna make me feel a little bit better about it, though. Because this is a very cool item. So I'm gonna pretend that the last run didn't happen and we can just not address the missing streak. I can't believe we got as far as 4 and then lost it again. That's... That's what's really, you know, bothering me right now. Is we actually... Got, oh my god, we got so far as to get a new streak going, and then threw it away. Sorry. Once again, I ate food not too long ago, and it's, um, it's just not settling, you know? Let's keep going for the moment. Maybe we'll come back and open you, but I don't see it being likely. Um... So, the, the whole point of talking about this, before I fucking walked into the most horrific three rooms that I've ever played in a row in Isaac, um, wa was that... Oh my god. Um, that it's, it's just very impressive to me, and we're, look, we're finally getting back to the point that we were trying to make like ten minutes ago, that I've been keeping to a pretty solid schedule with these. I shouldn't have taken that, I should have rerolled. Oh well. Um... That I've been keeping to a pretty a pretty regimented, you know, upload schedule with these, and that I've actually managed to, I mean, that worked out pretty well. Uh, stick with it, and not not miss a day so far. It got pretty tight on the first couple of days because I was recording on the day I was uploading, and obviously, whenever that happens, you got to record pretty early um, to make sure that it actually makes it out in time. But you know, like. I think tomorrow morning I'll do a little bit of extra recording, and that way the backlog will increase from one to maybe two or three. And the uploading should become kind of a breeze from there, because I can just record, like, absolutely whenever within reason. And, you know, as long as I don't skip three days in a row, like, I should be fine. Which, you know, could happen. It could totally happen. It would likely happen as a result of, like, a vacation or something. I don't like you. I like you even less. In this situation. I like you even less. Let's just get you out of the way. I think that, yeah, man, those rooms were brutal. Like, I'm thinking back on them. The, the heart and mask room, I never like to see those enemies in any run. If I can get through a run without encountering hearts and masks, I'm happy. I don't know it. It's one of those, like, I you know, when I'm doing my job right, you don't even notice situations. So... That's why maybe the runs where those don't those enemies don't spawn don't get quite as much active appreciation as they deserve. But you know, it's the appreciation is there in the back of my mind, and it's there in the forefront when I get a run where they do spawn and I just complain about it for the next 10 minutes. Anyway, I'm gonna take a very quick moment here to drink some water, because my mouth is dry. Thank you very much for your patience. I'm sorry if you could hear me. Ooh, gulping. Um, if you can, let me know down in the comments and maybe I'll uh, stop gulping in the future. <laughs> um, driving viewer interaction since two weeks ago? Two weeks, man. That is crazy. Okay, what's in here? The haunt. Um, am I going to keep... I mean, well, you know, what's my end game here? I don't know. I don't know what my end game is here. I'm just kind of doing it. And seeing how it fares. I, I keep talking about the TikToks that I'm supposedly going to upload. Allegedly. Allegedly. Let's... Let's freaking do it, man. Let's go crazy. I'm re-rolling these. I wish I could re-roll them again. Because I don't really care about these. I am... 
I don't know. I don't like these. I actually don't like them at all. I really hate to open a devil deal and then not take anything. That's kind of the worst of both worlds. But like, I don't want any of those. Is that my roommate or is that is that someone else? Someone just came into the building. I don't know if it's someone from upstairs. Hard to say. This house is very noisy. Um, what 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 was I? I, I ate some dinner earlier, and I, I don't know if I started on this line of thought, but I did just watch the movie The French Dispatch, uh, directed by Wes Anderson. I freaking love Wes Anderson, man. He's so very good, and I find his style very very entertaining. I will say this was probably like the most stylized movie that he's done so far. Maybe if you don't count like Fantastic Mr. Fox or Isle of Dogs as his most stylized movies, because uh, there's it's it's or at least it's one of his art artiest maybe. You know, there's a lot of like a lot of very classic, um, a lot of classic cinema stuff going on, I think. And I couldn't really tell you what that is, and I'm not going to, lest I accidentally spoil something for someone that they didn't want to be told. What the hell is happening? You want me to get close to this? In this economy? I'm doing it. Oh my goodness. I'll take it. It is a, I mean, yeah, I think that was pretty good actually, because we're on 16% on both rooms. I'm pretty happy with that. And the Trinity Shield to block shots is going to be pretty handy. This so far is shaping up to be a run as good as the last. Maybe if we'd have had this one first, we could have uh, maintained our streak. Don't get salty. Don't let the league player mindset sink in. I... Okay, in fact, I'm putting... Uh, I'm putting the French Dispatch on hold for a moment to talk about League of Legends again because it's absolutely bananas to me. That you can be, I mean, so the game you play from levels 1 to 30. 30 being the level at which you start playing, like, competitive matches of the game. I am level 10 in that game. So I have not been playing for very long. I've played barely any of that game. But, for some reason, I'm still getting put into games with people who are, like, flaming each other and saying things like, OMG, you're so bad. Like... These are people who have played a, a collective, like, seven matches of League of Legends. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, they're gonna be bad. What are you talking about? Are you crazy? Like, what are you expecting? Like, it, it, it's as if people in League of Legends were, like, uh, who are, like, smurfing, because I assume that's what what's going on. I don't think you could be seven games into a, a League of, like, a League of Legends like, I say a League of Legends, you could be seven games into playing League of Legends and already be calling everyone bad and flaming everyone. I'll say, I think every single person I've seen start playing League has become toxic to some minor degree within their first game. You know? It does not take very long for people to start going like, what are my team doing? Because you... And maybe this is just a MOBA thing for people who aren't super used to them. Like, you can't see a lot of the map. And as such, you don't actually know what people are doing a lot of the time, and so you just kind of start to think, like, well, they're not here where the action is, so they must be doing something stupid. Which is not usually the case. Well, I say not usually the case. It's probably often the case. But not because they're bad. It's more often than not just because you had no way of communicating that that's where the action was, right? Which is exactly why, and I had this kind of epiphany, uh, like, I think... A little while ago, not recently, but I think maybe towards the end of my time playing League of Legends, that, like, every time someone would say, like, the you know, the key to playing League of Legends is communication. I mean, yeah, I'll take you. The key to playing League of Legends and winning games is communication. And I was always very, like, that doesn't make any sense. Well, good vibes are just going to win your game. And I realized, like, yeah, because you need to be able to, like, tell your team what's going on, where it's going on what they can do to help, what you can do to help. What, oh, they, they can tell you what you can do to help. And like, without any means of actually telling each other what the plan is, how the heck is anything gonna happen, you know? Which, which actually is like, it makes a ton of sense and isn't that complicated, and maybe shouldn't have taken me quite so long to figure out, but it did, so... You know, get over it. I had League Brain once upon a time too, I was also 13 once. 
not much I can do about it now. As much as I wish I could go back and, uh, and, and do something about it. Unfortunately, that is a human being that was. And remains a part of mine and other people's history forever. I'm sure I'm not the only one who wishes they could change that, but there it is now. I bet no one else wishes it quite as much as me. Ow. I sound very, very sad here. That's that's not the intention, I'm just being jokey. And I'm more pointing out how, like, you know, cringeworthy I was as a teen rather than how legitimately unhappy I was. Um, I think we're done here. I'm going down. Or, well, I should say how legitimately happy or unhappy I was. I feel like I loaded that quite a bit. So, you know, my apologies. I'm painting, I feel like I keep accidentally painting a certain picture in this in this particular monologue. And it's not what I'm intending to do. So, I'm, you know, hopefully we've, we've stamped that out. We've made that look a lot nicer now. We've put a pretty little bow on it and we can move on. Because we're done with League of Legends. Because I just wanted to address that it's madness. That, like, people are going into games and expecting... That everyone else is also a smurf, I guess? But, like, not a good enough smurf that, you know, they're just playing with people of their skill level, otherwise they wouldn't have smurfed in the first place. I don't know what the intention is. That you want... You want good players, but not so good that you can't win? It feels like maybe the solution to that would not be smurfing and instead be playing better. But that's just me. That's just my two cents. If you, um, you know, if you want, you can feel free to use this uh, audio clip and send it to people in your League of Legends games as, as owns when they try to tell you that you're trash. Um, so that you don't have to, you know, spend a lot of time typing out in chat. I'll tell you what's a lot of fun as well. Um, you know, when people in League of Legends are being toxic and you start beefing them, I say beefing them. I wasn't being argumentative or toxic. I just said, like... I accidentally used the die, the D6 there, my bad. I just was saying, like, hey man, these are all new players, can you chill? And then people would start, like, flaming me as well. I'd get caught in the crossfire, which is unfortunate, but I think that's, you know, what I get for stepping into the firing line to try and bring peace. I should have known better. What was I saying? I've forgotten the original point, and I'm just going to end there and go back to talking about the French Dispatch. <laughs> I don't remember what I was saying, okay? I've forgotten. The The train of thought left me, mid-sentence. Um, it was a really good movie. It was very stylized. It was sort of a lot of separate stories contained as opposed to one continual uh, narrative. I'm going to come back for you once I have the ability to re-roll you. But I do not possess the capabilities as of right now. So I will have to wait. Oh my god, he flew into the fire. Um, still not ready yet. One more room. Anyway. Um, yeah, the movie was good. I don't want to spoil it all. Um, it was in like 4x3, which was interesting because um, some of the movie got clipped off to the side. So I couldn't read like some subtitles and things. Sure. I'm not going to get angry about it, it's not amazing, but I'm not going to spend the time worrying about re-rolling it again. Um, that's it, I mean, we're 20, ma we're 28 minutes in? We're 28 minutes in. I'm realizing now that we're half an hour in and we're like not even at mom yet. Um, and I'm going to have to go all the way to Isaac unless I lose another run, which, you know... Uh, like, right now would not be a, a problem, per se. Considering um, the the situation regarding our streaks, um, or our streak singular, I'm not the snap. Uh, you know, we don't have a Snapchat streak going. <laughs> um, so I mean, it wouldn't even be you know if like by some freak accident I decided that I had run out of things to say and then died, and it was sort of you know a bit of a perfect storm for me because I didn't have to keep trying to monologue, although I would love to so very much monologue well beyond an hour because I have to do two runs in a single episode. Um, you know, it wouldn't be the end of the world. We can for sure check this. We can for sure be disappointed about it as well. I guess... I guess I'm taking nothing again.
I guess I'm taking nothing again. This, I mean, these runs are, they're not bad runs. They're just, I'm playing them badly. I'm doing a bad job, which is, you know, that's on me. Um, am I like, is it, do I, am I worried about like the longevity of playing Isaac? Certain folks managed to do it for 10 years. I think I can handle it. I just right now, this evening, I'm sort of realizing that uh, in the midst of this second Isaac run, um, I would maybe rather be doing something else, like right now. And that's not to say that there's like more fun stuff I could be doing, that something else is like laying in my bed with my eyes closed. Um, so, you know, I wouldn't hold it against me too, too much. Ow. It was a really good bomb. Unfortunately, I'm an idiot. You're kidding me. I'm out of here. Um, oh my god. Do I have anything else to talk about? No. Like, this would normally carry me through the bulk of the episode, but unfortunately we died. And so about, like, 20 minutes of good monologue went to waste. I know I sound like I'm angry at you, like I'm being passive-aggressive, but that's, I promise you, that's not the case. We have so many bombs. Um, that's not the case. I'm not mad at you, I'm just disappointed with myself. That I should be doing better, but I'm not, because apparently tonight, it's just not in me. The, the Isaac juice isn't flowing. Um, I don't have the, the gamer skill that I know is buried deep within my soul. It's just not on display right now. I am also noticing that my mouth is very dry again. And my water, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, yep, it has run empty. So, you know, I'm in a, I'm in a situation now because I don't have any more water. Which, like, you're probably thinking, like, just go get some more water. No? Am I making life harder for myself now? Yes, but I feel like that is maybe the fuel that I need to uh, get this run to end one way or another. <laughs> I mean, I'll take you for sure. Um, and then maybe I'll just don't know the rest, because this run, as per usual, feels like a little bit of a burner. As per usual? Wrong phrasing. That's not as per usual. It's just as per this evening per usual is not fair by any means this the, all, i think we've had some extremely blessed runs and we were in fact maybe do an evening like this um but yeah i got i got nothing else to talk about so you know it now enjoy uh 20 minutes of uh acapella jazz <laughs> It's me, I'm back. I didn't want to do that for 20 minutes. Um, what do I want to do for 20 minutes? I don't know. I don't know. I can't think of much that I want to talk about for another 20 minutes. I, um... I, I guess I could, like... I'm trying to think about, like, connections that I can make in my brain to... Uh, I apologize, I just bumped my mic. That I can make to the French Dispatch? I could have re-rolled that! It's more more soul hearts, I suppose. Which is something. I'm trying to find the silver lining. I've dug myself a, a grave here, and I need out. And the only way out is with this, um, this positive thinking shovel. I'm trying to be optimistic. I'm doing my best. Okay, let's just quickly... Whoop. Sure. Um, connections that I can make. I sleep. Connections I can make to um, the movie The French Dispatch to monologue about. Well, I mean, the obvious thing is writing. It's a, it's about, it is a movie about writers. Excuse me. And I've done a little bit of writing in my time. It was what I wanted to do when I was growing up. I wanted to be a writer. Let's take you. Oh, yeah. Let's take you. Um, it was what I wanted to do growing up. I wanted to be a writer. I actually wrote a book, Once Upon a Time, and it was it was a fiction novel. As all great writers, right? Sorry, one moment. It's the food I ate while I was watching the French Dispatch battling with me. Also, um. 
oh my god, I'm dying out here. Um, a, a, a quick update on the um, the WMD situation. Uh, it's not working. I'm continuing to eat junk food in spite of the you know the pain that my body is in. No, I'm not doing it. I'd simply want. I think we're above that item right now. Maybe on a more, you know, zany run. But, like, right now, this is a very by-the-book Isaac run. And I'm going to be keeping it that way. I'm... I, 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 yeah, I wrote a book. Sorry, I lost my train of thought again. Man, I'm very tired, huh? It's all starting to pile on, the, 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 the sleepless nights. Um... I wrote a book once, it was a novel, it was about an apocalypse, and it was sort of a Lord of the Flies situation, wherein, you know, like, lots of kids are left to roam the, the free world. Um, you know, after the collapse of society. Was it a good book? N my answer would be no. I would be inclined to say no in response to that question. And the reason is because I was uh, essentially a child when I wrote it. It was a big book. I was very impressed. And, like, it's crazy to think back on the fact that I had written it. Or that I have written it. Um, and that that's sort of a thing that I did. It took me several years. This was during high school. Uh, I wrote this book. And I would just sit in classes writing. So I would go into my, you know, science class pretend to open up my textbook and in reality it was my novel sitting there and I would just sit and write this novel. It was pure garbage. It was absolutely atrocious and then I think I actually promptly gave up writing after that because I realized that I had dedicated three years to a, a, a worthless project. Which, you know, I don't necessarily regret considering, it, you know, like, the, again, the writing was not good. I'm, I'm glad that I didn't try to, like, push on against adversity for an incredibly long time because I I don't stand by the the, the piece um, but but it, I mean some of the elements of it were like maybe remotely interesting it feels like when I, if I reflect on it enough it does feel like the book that someone with no um, formal writing education would write I mean yeah I'll take the HP it was like, it was this like, it was meant to be like a coming of age, fictional post-apocalypse story uh, in which um, all of these great forces of, of, you know, military power just are randomly fighting over. Okay, well, I shouldn't have picked that up. Um, fighting over this wasteland and... Um, it featured, like, a lot of, um, like, time time manipulation stuff. Not, like, time travel, but rather, the like, the, the tense that it was in. I would, like, jump between moments in the story and try and tell it in a really abstract fashion as opposed to just, like, you know, telling the story. Our damage has officially gone up from the start of the run. Good job. Congratulations, everybody. Very proud of you all. Um... Yeah, it was just, you know, it was nothing to uh, write home about. <laughs> and what happened ultimately was I wrote said book. It took me, like I said, it took me, oh my god. It took me many years to do. And then I remember the moment that I finished it very clearly. I was sitting in my room at home. And I was sitting at my chest of drawers because I did not have a desk. I had a chest of drawers next to my bed that I would sit at. I'm going to take this because I kind of want the soul hearts to protect the eternal heart. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. More soul hearts. Very nice, very nice. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I was sitting at this chest of drawers, and then I finished writing the book. I kind of know, I knew that that was the last sentence. Flicked through the pages, closed the book, and then uh, put it into the top drawer of my chest of drawers and never took it out again. And I never saw that book again. I can't believe we fit through that space. I never saw that book ever again. 
I never took it out when I moved. I I never, you know, I say I never thought about it again. I did, I think about it all the time, but it's never like, dang, I made a mistake. It's always like, that's a funny thing that happened to me, or that I did, rather than happened to me. Was I just decided after three years, you know, spending the, the, the prime of my youth working on this project, I decided this thing's a piece of garbage and it's, it's never going to be uh, observed by, you know, knowing eyes. I don't want anyone to... I guess I didn't mind anyone, you know, seeing it. I just didn't want anyone to associate it with me. <laughs> I didn't want anyone to know that I was the, the, you know, Dr. Frankenstein that produced this mess. And that, that is a metaphor that is maybe more apt than I realized as I went to say it. Because, I mean, this thing, this book was, it started out as a regular, like, A4 notepad, but I, you know, very quickly ran out of pages. So I would just buy more A4 notepads, tear all of the pages out of them, and then add them into this book. So I just had this one, like, monstrous, huge book with pages spilling out of it. As opposed to, I don't know, just, like, keeping them as separate books. And then just marking them, like, chap you know, uh, volume 1, 2, and 3, or something like that. I insisted on tearing all the pages out. Listen... As evidenced by the way I handled that situation, by my decision to like sit here and make these Isaac videos, as well as countless other things that I've done in my life, and the quality of the story that I wrote, I would say I'm not like... I don't think I'm stupid, but like, I'm not, you know, I'm not getting into any groups anytime soon. Any like, you know, brilliant mind factions or anything. Damage up and range up. I don't care about range up right now. I'll take a soul heart, I guess, to continue protecting our interests. Uh, damage feels fine. It does feel like, um, you know, we're just trying to protect what we've got right now. So that we can carry it on as late as possible. I'll take another bomb. Um, I would say that I'm, like, pretty sufficiently out of things to say now. We're 42 minutes in, and um, I've, I've used like a good, I mean, normally, you know, on a normal day, that, that would have been like three episodes of monologue right there. You have been spoiled to far more monologue than, you know, given my improvisational capabilities, more than I should have given you. You know, it, the smart thing to do would have been to hold on to all of that for as long as possible and, like, really drag it. Unfortunately, like I touched upon last episode, I do... For someone who is trying to do sort of long-form improvisational monologue content, I speak maybe too quickly. I get through all of my stuff very fast, and I should maybe just work on, you know, uh, the sun is better, um, on slowing it all down. And just like, you know, okay, well, you know, maybe I will use the other card. I would love to get, you know, an actual, like, another angel or devil deal. We got the one from the very beginning with the Joker card, which was great. And I'm not, I'm not upset about it. I'm not going to throw a tantrum. I'm not going to complain. But, you know, more would have been nice. Who, you know, who doesn't like more? I'm going to open you. Okay. I guess I'm also just going to kill you guys while I'm here. Didn't really think about that. Um, so yeah, we're in the, we're in like the sort of, this is like the late, this is the graveyard shift as, as of, you know, this is the graveyard shift of the episode. Oh. I don't want to. It would be very zany and funny, but I don't want to. Hmm. Alright, I'll do it. We don't have a streak. I'll do it. Fine. You got me. Here you go. This is... like, way better. <laughs> We just got an absolutely incredible upgrade from our, for, for our build. I think, anyway. That's what it feels like. We have, you know, we can operate at much higher range. We have 2020. 
We've got homing shots. We're also... We're shooting 2020 shots and homing shots. We're shooting like twice upon twice. Why is that? What is going on? Why am I shooting double double? I'm very confused. I can't see the reason. If you see the reason that we're shooting double double, please do let me know in the in the comments. Um, because I have legitimately no clue. Lots more money helping with the the money as power get that we that we managed to pull out. Ah, I mean, wow, that was actually so good. I'm very very pleased that I opted to. Oh my god. I should have just done this. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to try and uh, get slick about it. Ooh, we still have availability for Angel and Devil deals here. We're 50-50. Let's do it. Oh, we also got shoop de whoop That's crazy! This was incredibly good for us. Let's just use it. There we go. We still have a ton of bombs. Our damage output is like really good. Ooh. <laughs> um, that's hush. I mean, I'm not doing hush. This is not a hushable run. I don't think. Is this a hushable run? I don't think we've got the damage to do hush. There's no way, right? But we do have a lot of soul, uh, a lot of a lot of health. I mean, it feels very unreasonable. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Fuck it. Like, I don't think we stand any chance. This is me just throwing another runaway, but... Is it gonna be fun? I mean, I like that. I like that also. Um... You... 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 You, oh my god, and, oh, wow, okay, 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 okay. Let's think about this. I mean, you are just significantly better. And I think you'll probably stick with us for the actual fight because we can generate a lot of HP with you. We're going to take the Soul Heart. Shot speed up, I'm always going to be happy about. Uh, damage up is not going to beat the sun. We're going to take you for some tears up. They're all red hearts, which is a little bit of a, uh, a meme. Now, this is interesting. Because we have quite a lot of HP. And then, random chance to drop a battery or freeze all enemies in the room. Add chance to add one charge to your active item. Spawns additional curse room. Let's take the battery. Spawn another blue heart. And then we'll take you as well. And then we're also going to bomb this to get some more money back. F okay, that didn't work. Um, Alright. I mean, I still think we're going to lose. I should have checked for a cruel space. I completely forgot. Ow! Oh, I don't have the shield anymore. I just kind of expected to not get hurt. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're Now we're focusing again. If we actually, like, I mean, the speed at which we're killing Small Hush tells me that, you know, as I suspected, we're going to get our asses beat here. But if we did, by some miracle, manage to beat Hush, just on, like, a random Isaac run this early on into the series, that would be bananas. That would be absolutely crazy. I would lose my mind. Let's... I think what we do here is we... No, no, it's not going to work like that. I was going to say if we could try and like leverage getting our HP low and also like getting our HP low and then adding soul hearts, but you know, we'd be losing out on charges of Book of Revelation. So we're just going to have to like take what we can get. So if we get hit again, we will pop Book of Revelation and and get about our business. Oh, that I mean that's a small battery, which is very nice. Cool. That's a soul heart. I mean, with the Book of Revelation and all of this charge stuff that we have, we might be in a really good position, actually. Like, a really good position to win this. Hard to say for sure. We're also a little bit smaller, right? We've been made small, which I'm pretty happy about. Take some bombs, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Let's grab the battery. 
Oh my god. Okay, he's at half, and I think we're still doing pretty well. Like, we're on near enough full HP. If we were any lower than this, I would be concerned. I think I still don't feel like it's a guaranteed win, but it's winnable. You know, by by all means. It's, it's this section of the fight that I'm worried about. Although... You know, thanks to the Book of Revelation, I'm maybe slightly less worried. Um, this feels not too bad. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to be able to do too much monologuing here, because I'm trying to focus on killing Hush, which I'm sure you are well aware is, like, one of the hardest bosses in the game. Oh my god, I'm getting absolutely battered. Just, just everyone just chill for a moment. Okay, so we have an opportunity here to uh, capitalize on our damage output for a moment. Thanks to Adrenaline. And then should we lose our blue heart, we just pop the, uh, we just pop the sun. Because that is going to be devastating. Oh my god, what is happening? This is chaos. We might need to just use some bombs here. Some more, yep, some more Book of Revelations is very good here. Oh my god. Jesus! Okay, we do actually have to pop the sun. That was really good, actually. That was really, really good for us. We killed a lot of stuff with the sun there. I think we're okay here for the moment. We might be less okay in a second. But I will say, it looks like, <laughs> against my own suspicions, we are going to beat Hush right here. Just kind of out of the blue. Was not my intention for the run. <laughs> um, and it was thanks to a zany... Uh, <laughs> a zany... Um, oh, we don't have uh, you know, a, a, a picture, so we can't go any further, which is pretty sad. I'm out of here. Okay. I mean, I wasn't expecting a Hush win, <laughs> but we got one. So, thank you very much for joining me. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow uh, for some more Isaac, and uh, I hope you have a lovely day. Goodbye.